Hello everyone, well, back to into the verification of the autumn 2019 forecast from Gaz Ovid. So, we're going to look at the climate averages from the UK Met Office. Going to have a look at the temperature and precipitation anomalies for the autumn of 2019 and see how the Gaz Ovid's autumn forecast um, progressed. Hint, it didn't do very well. <laughs> so, uh, I'll go that for you very shortly. Uh, just say that, of course, a long range uh, bandwagon then rolled on to uh, winter, and when we get to the end of winter 2019-2020 we, we will verify the gas of his winter forecast and spring updates will begin uh, from January. Right, so the gas of its autumn 2019 forecast was for a milder and drier than average autumn. We predicted um, a very dry autumn, actually, and we said that temperature anomalies were likely to be above average as well. We thought out of the three autumn months, um, possibly... November held a little bit of colder potential, but overall the forecast was for a milder and also drier than average autumn with a lot of anticyclonic influences. Well, this is how the temperature anomaly looks uh, for the autumn of 2019, set against 81 to 2010. Overall, it was a colder than average autumn in the northern half of the country. So much of Scotland down to northern England, some parts of Northern Ireland were a little bit below average with the temperature. The rest of England and Wales was near normal. Certainly not a particularly mild season, though, so the temperature side of the forecast did go wrong. And more significantly was the precipitation side of the forecast, because we actually had a very wet autumn, particularly for England and Wales, and particularly for eastern parts of England and Wales. We can see that northern and western parts of Scotland were drier than average. That's the only place, really, though, in the country that was drier than average. Eastern Scotland was a little bit wetter than average, and as we come down into England and Wales, we see that it was a very wet season indeed, with substantially above average rainfall, particularly across eastern parts of England, uh, where we had over a 170% of our average rainfall. So obviously a very significantly wetter than average autumn. Temperatures weren't particularly uh, exciting either. In fact, it was a rather cool uh, autumn, particularly the northern part of the country. So, therefore, obviously, the autumn forecast uh, was a bust. It went uh, dreadfully wrong. And uh, these things happen. We are pushing the boundaries of what's possible with our forecast, uh, our long-range forecast anyway. We're really pushing the envelope of uh, forecasting uh, possibilities. And uh, sometimes, obviously, the forecast will go terribly wrong. This is one of those situations where the whole thing went completely wrong. It started off okay, actually, the first half of September. Uh, but then from around the second half of September onwards, we just went into this deluge-type pattern that we didn't forecast. We didn't see that coming and so, therefore, we can say nothing more than the gas of his auto 2019 forecast was um, very badly wrong. It uh, went very badly wrong. And that's it. We can't say any more than that. <laughs> Obviously, we got it completely and totally uh, wrong. And uh, as I say, these things happen. So very sorry about what happened. But we, it is a good reminder that any forecast beyond five to seven days comes with health warnings attached to it. Large grains of salt, um, just for fun, you know, all of those kind of uh, things. So, yes, the autumn forecast was or oh, is a bust and um, went badly wrong. But there we go. With uh, We've gone through what happened and... Uh, that's it. Can't say any more than that, really. So, uh, very sorry about what happened with the autumn forecast. And uh, there's very little else to say, really. Uh, it was a very strange autumn pattern as well. The way that it was wetter than average in the east and drier than average in the north and the west was indicative of a southerly tracking jet stream. So uh, the overall pattern was quite strange and quite unusual, I think, for this autumn and that's why we came away with a rather colder autumn too, because we found ourselves on the cool side of a jet stream a lot of the time. 
So there we go. The autumn forecast went wrong. Uh, nothing else to say about it other than I'm very sorry about that. And it's a good reminder of any long range forecast uh, being in the realm of just the fun having large health warnings attached with it. Uh, of course, we released the winter forecast at the beginning of December, on the first day of December. We're going to see how that does, and we will verify the forecast at the end of season. At least, you know, with Gav's web, is that we always go back and verify and see what happened. So um, we don't um, cherry-pick our good forecasts and forget the bad ones. Uh, we always go back, good or bad, and see what happened with the forecast. So... We'll do the verification for the winter 2019-2020 forecast uh, at the beginning of March. As I say, the spring updates, and I know a couple of you are waiting for, will begin in January. That's it then. So uh, that closes the door firmly and finally shut on autumn 2019. Very strange, uh, very wet and quite cool autumn indeed. Um... And we're still waiting to see what the winter has in store for us as we're only on the 19th of December. Right, that's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.